I've done a lot of things in my life. And they said, what are you most, pr uh, most proud of? I said, beside my kids. And I, I said, the Dick Van Dyke Show. I said, it, that's, uh, they can put that on my tombstone because there's 158 shows and the first uh, 30 or 40 episodes I wrote by myself. Carl Reiner, the award-winning writer, director, producer, and actor known for creating The Dick Van Dyke Show has died. E.T. can confirm. He was 98 years old. Carl died Monday night in his Beverly Hills home and was surrounded by his family. His son, actor-director Rob Reiner, confirmed the news on Tuesday morning, tweeting, As I write this, my heart is hurting. He was my guiding light. Dick Van Dyke took to Instagram to honor his friend, writing 100% pure mensch. We love you so much. Besides what I've written, I'm in the process of getting out three or four new books, and one of them is called How to Live Forever. It's a 271-page book that starts with the line, start a project, work on it, improve it. When you approve of it, you improve it, start a new project. That line goes for 271 pages. The truth of the matter is so. If you have something to do, you'll stay alive. Even in his 90s, Carl was sharp as ever and used his platform to bring attention to political issues such as immigration, voter registration, and speaking out against President Donald Trump. In a video posted to his Twitter account in 2018, Carl said his personal goal was to live until the 2020 November election. On November 6th, we can vote for elected officials who will hold this president accountable. And after we've done that, my personal goal will be to stick around until 2020 and vote to make sure we have a decent, moral, law-abiding citizen in Washington who will make us all proud again to live in America. Over his career that spanned more than 60 years, Carl directed dozens of films and TV shows like Steve Martin's The Jerk and made friends with other Hollywood legends like Mel Brooks, Mary Tyler Moore, Dick Van Dyke, and Betty White. But his big break came in 1959 when Carl pitched and starred in an autobiographical sitcom pilot called Head of the Family. The concept was recast and renamed The Dick Van Dyke Show. Carl directed and produced the show in addition to portraying the character Alan Brady. This is a cute one. I had this one made so people will say, Alan is losing his hair. Would you like that one? Or would you like a crew cut one that I had made for the summer? Or oh, this one, my Alan, you need a haircut. Huh? Would you like these? What, 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 do you what do you suggest I do with all of these now, huh? Carl, who was born in the Bronx, studied acting in high school and landed his first directing job while serving in an entertainment unit of the Air Force during World War II. In 1943, Carl married actress Estelle LaBost, who you might remember from the 1989 film When Harry Met Sally. I'll have what she's having. The two shared three children, actor-director Rob Reiner, author Annie Reiner, and artist Lucas Reiner. The couple was married for 64 years until Estelle's death in 2008. What do you hope your legacy will be? Uh, well, that I made people laugh.